Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, so today we just picked up this 39, uh, I almost said Ford. It's a 39 Dodge D11. Um, it's a four-door car, suicide rears. Um, hasn't run in probably 20 years or so. Um, but the thing is super solid. Uh, we're just going to try and get it running, driving, and then it'll be up for sale. But we'll show you around this thing. So this is it. Um, it's got one of the wrong headlight um, glass pieces. Somebody looks like cut one out of an old door glass or something and fit in there, but it works for now. Um, got the old flathead straight six. Um, this door is kind of janky. We'll see. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So there's the interior. It's all complete. Nice. Three on the tree. Uh, like I said, suicide rear doors. Oh, we got some tires in here because we had a pickup for Jordan's coupe over there. But seats are in really nice shape. Um, this thing still has the 1939 Ford, or sorry, 1939 Minnesota plate on it. Right there. Super cool. Um, the odometer reads. 5,900 miles, and I almost want to believe it. I mean, there's like no wear on pedals. There's no hardly any wear on the seat. Um, that being the original plate, all that stuff. This guy said that he's owned it for 20 years, and it's sat in his shed, and the guy that he got it from, um, or I guess he bought it from the original owner and said that it was sitting in a shed for many years. So he bought it and plans and fixing it up. That never did, did happen. He said he, uh, whenever he first got it, he had it running. But um, like I said, that was 20 years ago or so. So we're going to try and get this thing running. It should be pretty easy, I think. But we just picked up a brand new battery for it. So let's get cracking on it. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do on it is just check fluids. So we're gonna go ahead and there is oil in it. Now, where did that just come out of? Well, I'm gonna have to get a light so I can find out uh, where the hole is for this. So, that's cool. All right, so the dipstick's back in it. Let's check the coolant. Mm, there's crap in there, but it appears that it's in there. So that's cool. And now, that's about it for the fluids that we need to check. Let's uh, grab a battery and throw it in, see if we can get it to crank. Got the new battery in under the seat. Let's see here. Yep, we're in neutral. These have a starter button down here, right there. So you have to hear it spinning over. Now what we got to do is we got to check for spark and then uh, fuel. Actually, I totally take it back. This is how we're going to find out if we have spark. There we go. That's how you can find out if you have spark. Yeah, I mean, because if we crank it and it flares over, then we got spark. Uh, yeah, so let's find out here. Huh? So, it's just that easy to get an old car running. Every time. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly every it single is. time. <laughs> no, but I'm going to go through with you guys the uh, points and distributor and how all that stuff works. Um, I was just, you know, going to see if that would uh, work. And uh, by golly, this thing runs. So, we'll go ahead and we'll pull off the uh, distributor cap here and take a look inside there. See how corroded stuff is or not corroded stuff is considering this thing just ran so let's pop that off There's just two little clips on the sides and 
absolutely spotless. He said that this thing was sitting inside of a temperature controlled garage until last week whenever the uh, he got taken out by a tornado. So that might have something to do with that. Well, that's cool. So I'm gonna pop that back on. Um, and uh, we'll see if we can get some fuel up to the carb. Get this thing running. Okay, so I just went to the gas station and I got five gallons of gas, put it in the tank. Now we're gonna fill the float bowl. So what I did is I made up this little funnel with a hose on here and then just electrical taped it shut. Shouldn't leak too bad. And we'll just put it on the vent of the carburetor. Well, the squirter works, so the float bowl must be filled. Crank on it and see what happens. So it cranks right up now. We'll fire it back up here. Jordan's done being noisy for a second. See, it does smoke a little bit, but that's to be expected with a car that hasn't run forever. Charging. As, I don't know if this gauge works or not, but I think it does. Well, it looks like the temp gauge is coming up. So that's cool. Oops. This is really cool. 
So this is a big dial that spins whenever, well, the faster you go. So this thing has no brakes, but we can see if it'll move under its own power here. Cool. <laughs> it's a little sewing machine. Oh, I'll put you on the stand. Once Jordan's done making noise. What? So she cruises around pretty decently, other than, you know, not having, having a hard time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so this thing runs pretty decent and drives halfway as good, uh, just no brakes. So we'll get that fixed. Brakes are for rich people. Yeah, brakes are for rich people. But I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up all the chrome, or not chrome, but stainless, and I guess there's some chrome on this thing. Um, and getting it cleaned up, ready to sell. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is her before I work some magic on it. So, I'll post a picture up of it. Um, well, that'll probably be the... Uh, the little uh, thumbnail of the video. This thing being all cleaned up, but nah, I'll say I'll, I'll put a picture of something else. But I'll get this thing cleaned up and all pretty and shiny. So Jordan's still working on his uh, his that thing. He's trying to shoehorn his motor in. So yeah, so that's what uh, what we got going. What well, do I? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends if they like, you know, this old starty stuff. We're going to be doing one on my 52 here before too long, too. Um, it's the same boat. It's has sitting, you know, 20 plus years. It's the old straight six. So that's going to be it for this time with this car. You probably won't ever see it again because it's going to be up for sale in, like, probably by the end of the night. So, yeah. But if you guys want it, let me know, drop it in the comments. I'll sell it to you.